What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, man, check it out. I got the Sterling 159 microphone here in the studio, and I'm getting ready to put it to the test. I've heard good things about it, so I want to see what's, what it's all about, and maybe this is a product you should go and check out. So right here, right now, we're going to unbox it. We're going to get to it. I'm going to bring in some help so that you can see what it sounds like. We're going to get some feedback from my help, and I'm telling you, it's about to go down. So you ready? Here we go. <laughs> All right, y'all, so let's get to it. We're gonna unbox this right here, right now, in front of everybody, and let's see what we got going on with the Sterling microphone here. Turn it around to the back. It gives you a whole lot of stuff that you can look at, and I mean, actually, I think the boxing is really, really nice. And if this mic looks anywhere near as good as it does in person as it does in these pictures, man, this is gonna be nice. So let's go ahead and pop her open. Uh-oh, it comes in with luggage, baby. Yeah, man. I love that. I love that about microphones, man. You get them, set that over there out the way. They come in luggage. I feel like I just got something from a James Bond movie. You know, done, you know, uh, I was seeing the music, but then uh, they demonetized me, so I can't sing the music, so I won't do that. But let's go ahead and pop her open. Boom. Ooh. So check that out. Check that out. I love how these microphone companies, how they, they give you these things, man, and they come in these really nice, oh man, this got some weight to it. This is nice. It's got some weight. I wasn't expecting it to be that heavy. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, that's nice. Says so Sterling down the side. I love this though, that you, I love this that it's uh, multi-directional, uh, that you can set up the different ways uh, that it's picking up. So there, I can't wait to play with that to see how that works out. That's gonna be cool. Let's set that off to the side. And then you have the system. This is really nice. What else is there? anything in there? Yeah, no, just that really nice cushion. But this is really, really nice. I wasn't expecting um, it to be that nice. I mean, the pictures do it justice, but not that much. Uh-oh, I dropped, I dropped the other bands to give you. Let's see if I can get to them. Yeah, yeah, these are the uh, bands that you need so that you can uh, uh, hold the microphone in there and whatnot. So yeah, man, that's that's gonna be nice. So what does it look like on the picture? So it might be already set up. Oh yeah, it's basically already set up. So what is this? I dropped something, there was something else in there. Ooh, it came with direction, that's a good thing, so I don't have to figure this thing out. Um, let's pop that open. Um, so if you don't know, just so you know, Sterling is actually a brand that is owned by Guitar Center. So yeah, 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 man, it's, a, it's owned by them along with Simmons Drums and a few others. So this gives you all of the specs. We'll put this on screen in a second. Go through, shows you how to set it up, talks to you about your uh, how to, your low cut, your you know how to set up the mic itself uh, so you get the best recording possible. So your shock mount is there, ready to go. Man, I think this thing looks amazing. It looks really, really amazing. Okay, cool, cool. Let's turn, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, that looks amazing. I can't wait, man. I can't wait to put it through the paces, man. Put it together. We're gonna put it together and um, I'll let you see me do that. And then we're gonna get my help in here. We're gonna get somebody in the studio to sing because I don't want to sing and then y'all be judging me. So I'm gonna get a singer to sing instead of me singing. And uh, we're gonna put this together and we're gonna Give a, you know, see what we think about it. initial review on it. All right, so let's let's get to it. Here we go. All right, so we're ready to put it all together. You got your mic, you got your shock mount, you got your stand, and on the floor over here, I do have my cable ready to go. So what we're gonna do is put it together the way they want you to do it. And I just wanna show you a couple of things. This is the front, the side where you can select the type of, right, how the microphone is picking up is the back. Um, this is your shock mount, this is the front, and that is the back. So what we're gonna do is put these together. Now, before I assemble it all, I wanna sh show you this. All you do, because they give you the rubber bands um, or the bands or straps or whatever they wanna call them here, is basically thread this through the center. See that? I don't know if you can see that, if I got that angle right. And feed it down to here. Now, the, on this metal base, let me set this microphone down so I can kinda show you this. In here, you have this piece here, and there's a, you can see where the microphone actually connects. What you're gonna do once you get it in there is you're actually going, it's threaded. You're gonna actually thread the microphone, screw the microphone onto that base. And then this whole microphone just floats at that point in this area with that is 
with that being connected. So that's how it's connected and it keeps it um, pretty sturdy. So what we're gonna do first, before we thread the mic, is we're gonna at least put this on the actual stand. So we're gonna put this on the stand, tighten her up, get that on. So now that our microphone stand is, or our mic is connected to the stand. Now I'm gonna just kind of set this up like this. I'll tighten that down. You'll see there's a tightener there. We just tighten that down just so that it sits. We got a nice and sturdy connection there. Now that we do that, we select our microphone. We wanna put the front side toward the camera that way, like that, thread her through, and it meets at the bottom down here. Now, again, we turn this, and it will tighten all the way up. I am not going to uh, tighten it. I don't know if I wanna tighten it all the way down, but maybe just for the video I will, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna matter, uh, but it's threaded pretty well. So uh, it tightened all the way up, there we go. So now we're completely into this. And by doing that, it's basically free floating. Uh, so it's got a little play. Um, hopefully no one ever bumps or anything, but I'm, it seems like if you hit it, it would be, you know, it's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Which brings me to another thing. Because of science, and I'm a man of science, I must talk about this microphone and how it is made. This is a metal, or at least it seems like a metal, but the way we tell is because I have to break out my uh, science instruments to do so. So let's, yeah, that sounds like metal or some really, really hard plastic. And once again, as usual, I didn't hold back enough and it hurts. I love that they, one thing I can say, this is a very, very good looking unit. It is built well, it's sturdy, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, they didn't skimp out on the product, on, on, on the materials, I should say. Um, other than that, I mean, the thing looks amazing. I think this, this color, I don't know if it's because it's blue and I just love blue, but I think this thing just looks amazing. So, only thing left to do is plug in our trusty microphone. So, let's get down here where I can see, make sure I got that right. And let's see here, I'm not lined up yet. There you go. Oh, no, there we go. There we go, we're plugged in. So now we're completely plugged in. Our mic, our mic is freestanding. It is solid, looks good. Let's hope it sounds as good as it looks. Let's see what we can get. Sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. Oh, I was talking on camera, Siri. I really wasn't trying to get you in. All right, so check it out. I'm about to bring in a guest who's gonna sing, put the mic to the test, so that you guys don't have to hear the lovely, beautiful sounds that I would emote or emit or put out. Whichever word works, I can't remember. So anyway, bring in Kendra Cash. So put your hand together, here we go. Sitting here, thinking about how crazy my life has been. Sitting here, thinking about how crazy my life has been. Anybody feel how I'm feeling now? Anybody feel how I'm feeling now? After singing on it a couple of times, singing, re recording on it, it sounds pretty good. You know, no major feedback or anything like that. Um, the playback, I guess in comparison to our other studio mic, um, this mic is not as warm. The other mic is very warm. It's very like right in your face. This mic is wonderful. Don't, don't get it twisted. It's wonderful, but it's not as in your face um, as the other one. And then when I record on the other mic, 
that one sounds more like performance. I, I feel like it feels like I'm on a stage when I'm singing on the other mic. This one, in terms of that feel, it doesn't necessarily feel like that. So that kind of affects how um, how I sing. You know, how you hear it when you're recording affects how you sing and what you put into it. But um, wait. all right, so check it out. Um, I wanted you to hear from the singer, um, Kendra, and let her tell you what she thought about it versus the other studio mic. And um, the other studio mic is an Audio-Technica, nice mic, really, really nice mic. It was given to me and I, I was very, very shocked. But I wanted to compare that mic because I knew it was a great mic to the Sterling. So what I did was this, we tried in the different recordings that you hear, we tried different angles, we tried different settings, we flipped every knob, we did everything we could to try to get it uh, to match up, including changing the distance of the microphone from the singer. So what I can tell you is this, although I think that there's a body, there's a fullness to that other mic, uh, this mic, I think held its, held its own against that mic. Mike, I think if you're recording a live guitar, I think that if you were recording even a, a higher voice, even low voice, um, as you can see, even if like if I'm singing baritone or bass, I think this mic is gonna do well. Um, I think a soprano is gonna do really well on this as well, on this mic. But I really got a good feeling about a guitar on this mic, just because of how the, the mid to high sound to me, they sound pretty crisp and clean. So I think that this is a great mic. I think it's for, for 250 bucks, 260 bucks or whatever it was. Uh, I think this mic is well worth the money. I think if you go out and buy this, um, you're setting up your studio, this should be in your arsenal. Yeah, it's a really, really good mic. So do I give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I'm saying thumbs up. I think that you should get this. Now, I will say this. The proper angle, if you learn to, to shift the mic, don't put that mic, you know, like directly in front of the singer. Get an angle. Notice we didn't have any type of uh, uh, a shield, spit shield or anything in front of it. Uh, we didn't even have a, a, a ballast or anything around it just to give the mic the opportunity to, to, for, to perform on its own. And it does well with the proper angles, um, which is gonna help you out as an engineer if you're going back in and you want to, uh, you know, when you start doing your automation and your edits or whatnot, that mic, the proper angle is gonna give you a lot less work to do. So I say buy it, I say put it to, in your arsenal, especially if you got a small studio and you just starting out and you wanna get a good mic, but you wanna you want spend a little bit of money, not too much, and you don't wanna be on the cheap side, definitely get this. Are there better mics? Of course there are, but I mean, who's got the money to spend $500 on a microphone? My philosophy is, if you're gonna spend money on anything, make certain that the money you spend is making you money. Always be investing in yourself, and by investing means you put something in expecting to get something out, not just investing in yourself spending money. So if I'm gonna spend money on this, I'm spending money on this because it's gonna make me money. And I can see how this at 260 bucks, 250 bucks, is gonna make you money because there's not a lot to go out uh, not a lot of your money going out versus what you can make coming in. So I say buy the mic. Yes, buy the mic. All right. So listen, man. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Listen, if you've enjoyed uh, this, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Either way, I just want to make certain that we're communicating. And uh, yeah, man, that's what's up. So listen, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Oh, and we're working on these videos of that new product from Simmons. It's coming, baby. I'm telling you. So, why are you still here? Go about your business. Get out. See y'all next time in the next video. Peace. <laughs>